All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Paul. Today we're doing another agent interview, and I'm joined today by Miss Amanda Munier. How are you, Amanda? I'm doing good, Paul. How about you? Doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear you're doing well also. Um, so I just have a couple questions for you today. We're going to talk a little bit about your experience as an agent, uh, more specifically with 54 Realty. Just let the people out there know how you're liking things here um, so we can go ahead and get started if you're ready. Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. So uh, my first question for you, because I don't know a whole lot about your background, as is typical for me with these interviews. Um, so I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about how you got started in uh, the real estate industry. Yeah, so I started real estate when I was freshly out of high school. Um, I was like, I don't know what I want to do with my career. And as most of us do, we I knew a real estate agent that was one of my family friends. Um, she'd been doing it for all of her life, really. So she was like, you'd be great. You have a great personality. So she kind of taught me what to do, what classes to take and everything. And it's really helpful when you have someone who's been in the industry to get started because it's like pretty self-explanatory. Like, you know, it's like, oh, you got to figure it all out on your own. So having that was really helpful to me. Absolutely. Like an insider almost, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it, and it helped that I loved going and looking at homes. Like when I was a kid, when we found our family home, looking at the other homes, it was just so much fun to me. So it was kind of like a little nostalgic thing. I get that. I used to, I remember uh, like touring model homes with my parents when I was younger too and thinking, man, they must have a cool job showing these cool places all day. Let me, let me let my cat out of the room. Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Brief intermission. I had her actually was in here, she was hiding and then she came out and started meowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Um, okay, awesome. So yeah, you had a little bit of uh, an insider there. So you kind of um, knew what you would like about it before you even started, it seems. Um, so speaking, I guess, flash forwarding to where you are today, uh, you recently just joined our team. I think it's been a month or two now, maybe? Correct Actually, me if I'm wrong. it's been about three months. Three months. Okay, awesome. Um, and in that short period of time, you've already closed several transactions, I believe. Am I mistaken in that? No, yeah, that's correct. So I was in real estate for about a year and a half and I closed zero transactions. And then in the last three months, I've done five. Oh, dang. Okay. So a little bit of an uptick, right? Yes, that's a lot better. <laughs> and um, can I ask, what do you think um, enabled you to come aboard and so shortly thereafter close deals like back to back, basically? So the main thing I'd say was um, my mentor, I, he's my team leader, it's Mike Peoples. Um, he has, he was the best, like he was so much help. He said that if you don't even get your own sale, he's like, I'll give you one of mine because he has so many clients. He's working, <laughs> he's so busy all the time that he was like, we're going to do whatever we can to get you the experience you need to make sure that you make a sale. He was like, we're going to get it, we're going to get it done, we're going to make sure it happens. And so having the hands-on help was so, so beneficial to me. Like I can't explain it, like there's no way to express how much more helpful it is to have the people there with you instead of just leaving you on your own. That's pretty much what every other brokerage does is they just say, okay, you, you're with us now, go, go, go do real estate. And yeah, then, they, they throw you in the deep end, right? Yes, they teach you how to swim and they just throw you in the deep end. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. And I um, I can speak a little bit to that as well, because I know Mike has been having um, pretty, pretty great success and great results with onboarding and training a lot of our new agents. Um, he's not our only team lead. We have three others, Christian, Debbie and Allison. But um, Mike, especially, I think, has taken a liking to it. So I'm glad to hear that your experience has been as good as some of his other team members. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it has. And I'd say that the main thing that really got me to it was I met somebody who was my age and he worked for 54 Realty. And like I said, I was in real estate for a year and a half, zero sales. And I met him at my age who was 54 Realty. And he said, oh, yeah, I'm making such good money right now. I wouldn't leave any other company, but go to anywhere else. So I'm thinking to myself, what? Where are you? What part <laughs> are you at? Because I've gone to three different companies and I'm still wondering how to make the money. So it was it was good. It was like, why did nobody tell me about this before, you know? That's what I've been wondering the whole time. I'm like, why, does, why doesn't everybody know about 54 Realty? I feel like it's the perfect place for new agents. I have to agree with you there. Um, so you kind of touched on it just now, but I was wondering, uh, maybe there was a broader thing that perhaps drew you to 54 Realty as a brokerage, or was it mainly that um, the attractiveness of uh, the support for new agents, or was there maybe anything else? Yeah, that, that was the main thing, but I'd say that when when that younger person that I met that was pr producing and doing well at 54 Realty, they said that they were making sales. I said, how? And he said, oh, well, the brokerage gives us leads. That was something that I was like, oh, what? Brokerage giving you leads? I've never heard of any other company that gives an agent leads. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it's not just like, um, you know, one or two a week kind of thing. It's like we, and Joe says this all the time, and we say this, you know, in our recruiting posts and things like that. We just have too many. We simply don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about your background before I get into some of the other stuff. Um, you, as far as I know, were with uh, one or two other larger, or not necessarily larger, but more corporate structured brokerages prior to coming here. And you and I were talking a little bit about it before we started recording here. Um, you can go into that if you want, but my main question about that is what do you think, uh, in your experience so far, are the benefits of being at a more family owned, family sort of oriented, um, less traditional brokerage like this one versus what you had in the past with? slightly possibly larger more corporate brokerages right so i so i was part of both i'd say i was the first one i was at was more like very independent it was not very big at all and it was you get 100 percent of commission but like i was making zero sales so 100 percent of zero is zero and they didn't do anything for me they didn't have any trainings that i could attend there was no mentor or team leader it was you're on your own and everything is up to you but here it's so much more helpful. They do the marketing for you. You have a transaction coordinator. It's just, it's so much more helpful. And they have the group chat where you get to talk to everybody. You have your team leaders. They're very hands-on. We have weekly meetings. We have recorded trainings live. So it's just like, it's so much more hands-on and helpful. Whereas you're independent, it's all up to you. And it's a little bit harder to stay focused and to stay, you know, working well. I have no doubt you're correct. And what I, I kind of hear is um, maybe we've struck here at 54 Realty a kind of uh, perfect middle ground between the independent brokerages, whereas you were saying um, you might have a greater uh, financial ability to perhaps make more money, but you are not getting any leads. You're kind of expected to do everything on your own. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, you have the larger, more corporate brokerages. Um, so I think kind of what I'm hearing from you is 54 is somewhere right in the middle where you're not totally on your own, yet you're also not um, having these overbearing things of like a more corporate brokerage. And it's like a perfect little slice in the middle there. It is, that's that's what I was gonna get to is that it's, it's a mix between both. If you want the more generic experience of, you know, it's the all up to you and you and you feel like you don't need the leads let's say you have a good sphere of influence that's what you can do here too you can be on your own you can get a higher commission split you can do those things but for newer agents who don't have all of those opportunities yet they give they're given to you here and that's very very helpful i have to agree with you um so my next question was actually about mike as a matter of fact but we touched on him a little bit earlier so i don't want to give him too much of the spotlight um <laughs> <laughs> no, he is the spotlight on me that was the reason i'm doing good so. it's true it's true um so i guess i'll kind of pivot then but um it's a similar question so aside from the team leaders which we already kind of talked about a great resource a great um thing for newer agents um do you think perhaps there are any other resources that we provide at 54 realty that have also kind of enabled you to um, be so su uh, successful within your first couple of months and the main one that I'd say is the agent partners and along with the transaction coordinators, um, because that takes up most of your time as an independent agent. So the agent partners will warm up the leads for you so that when you get the lead, they're ready to go see a home. Whereas when I would get my leads at my other brokerages, I would have to do the warming up and most of the time they wouldn't respond to me or if I was too worried about another client, I wouldn't have enough time to worry about warming them up and then it was just too much. And so my time is more focused on actually being out in the field and showing the houses and then they have everybody in the background at the office doing all the hard stuff for me. So it's, it's really helpful. That's what you're splitting the commission for is that you get out there and make more sales. Absolutely. And I'm glad you, you gave the APs, the agent partners, some love because I think you're actually the first person to mention them, but they really do bust their butts. I mean, they're constantly on the phones all day, like you said, warming up leads, um, making sure everything that's coming in is quality. And uh, not only the agents are getting those quality leads, but that the clients that are calling um, are being handled in the most effective manner and getting partnered with somebody that can really help them out. Absolutely. If I'm too busy, they are always there and they'll they'll leave me a note. They say, hey, I just want to let you know I texted this lead so that I that we keep up with them and that they're always being talked to. And I'm like, oh, that's so great that they are there to do the follow ups if I can't. 
Yeah, no doubt. Um, so I feel like I'm sort of hitting a similar question here once again because you just covered so much, which I really do appreciate, and I'm glad to hear that it's been going so well for you. Um, but perhaps less oriented towards a resource or a type of person, what would you say is perhaps your favorite thing about the brokerage as a whole, if you could narrow it down to one thing? Um, it's hard to narrow it down to one thing because it's such a good brokerage. Like I said, I was at three brokerages before this one, and this one has a little bit of everything that I was looking for. But if I had to narrow it down to one thing that's my favorite, I'd say it's how friendly and available everybody is. I mean, even if I, my team leader's not there, we have two brokers that I can reach out to. We've got, well, I guess three because there's Joe and Rose and Richard, but um, we've got, you know, other team leaders that will say, hey, if you need my number, reach out to me. I've got, and if none of the team leaders are available, we have our whole group chat of all the agents <laughs> that I can say, hey guys, does anybody have an answer to this? And 80 people will see the message at the same time. So it's, I love the availability of everybody. I, I totally agree with you. Um, even though I'm not an agent myself, I've never felt uh, that sort of being on my own kind of thing, being left in the dark. And again, to circle back to the point that you made at the top, you never feel like you're being thrown in the deep end. You're going to have to figure everything out yourself. There's always somebody that can help you out if you get stuck. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part because real estate is, even if you've been in it for 50 years, you're going to have a question. You're going to have a question, like mm -hmm. a, something you learned that day. So it's really helpful. It's funny you say that too, because I just did um, a separate interview with Christian, who's one of our top agents the other day, you know, Chris. And um, I was kind of flattering her a little bit. I'm like, you know, Chris, there's probably not a single real estate question that you don't know the answer to. And she's like, trust me, Paul, I, even still, I have questions every single day. Yes, yes. Chris is, that's what I was thinking is Chris is the person to go to who is like going to know all the answers. But mm -hmm. if there's something that she doesn't know, you, you're like, oh, okay, I can feel better. If she, if I don't know it, she doesn't know it. Nobody knows it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's reassuring too, I think. I mean, I haven't been in your shoes, but I would think if there was a top producer who still is finding out certain things, um, that made me feel a little more, bit more secure when I would have yeah. issues. So. Yeah, you never have to feel bad about not knowing. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so I just have one more question for you, man, and then I'll let you get out of here. Um, kind of something I asked everybody at the end of these. Uh, if you could speak directly to an agent who um, is either brand new or who is like yourself, who's been in uh, the game a little bit longer, but is kind of bouncing around, not really sure where to hang their hat. Um, Maybe they're switching brokerages. Maybe they haven't joined one yet. If you could give them one piece of advice, what would you say that would be? I'd say that you need to interview the brokerage as much as you think they're going to be interviewing you. You have to ask them really important questions like what they can offer you, um, what kind of classes and training they have, because classes and training are super important. The first brokerage I was at didn't offer very many live trainings. So I would say, you know, you want to have live training so you can ask questions, at least Zoom. Um, you want to ask them if they offer leads because that's super, super important. Like I said, the other three brokerages did not offer these. This one does, and I've actually made sales. So I'd say that you just wanna interview them, ask them exactly what you're looking for, if they offer it, because a lot of them offer different things. So it's really important to ask questions. You're absolutely right, and I couldn't agree more. Um, it's good to do your due diligence instead of just kind of throwing your hat in the ring wherever you feel like it's appropriate. So definitely ask those questions. Go, go to the places, go to the offices, meet people and um, just put your feelers out there. And I think both Amanda and I can agree that um, 54 Realty, if you come and ask us questions, you'll like all the answers, so. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'd say the most important thing is just know somebody that you can go to for questions. Just have a mentor, have a team leader, have somebody that you can ask questions to because you're always gonna have one. No doubt. Well, Amanda, this has been great. I really appreciate you making the time to uh, record this with me today. Yeah, thank you very much, Paul. I appreciate it. Of course, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, you too.